hello friends hope you all are doing good and in today's video we are going to discuss about how the calls for qa has recently gone down and what you can do to look for a job or if you are looking for a switch so is it a right time to switch and what all right measures you can take to switch okay so first uh, like let's discuss on the recession part because this is a big thing now like every day we get news from amazon tesla not tesla twitter actually because of elon musk we confuse between both the organizations now and like meta fired almost 10k so the thing is that all those guys who have been fired from these organization this is amazon so these are all bright bright guys because it's not a joke to get into fang that easily so they are all bright guys and now what will happen that um, nowadays organizations have really like freeze their hiring or they have slow down so now what they are doing is that they are uh, like if they have to hire one candidate then they will pick the best and they will like first look into their bench so maybe the 10 guys are available in bench so rather than hiring a new guy they will uh, use their bench and after that uh, like open positions okay so the problem is previously only these open positions are going down and now these guys like i have total compassion with these guys and uh, but the thing is that they are going to get these jobs now okay then the problem arises that if you are looking like if you are currently working in a job and you are looking for a switch then there is a like issue with you and the second thing is that because of this like all things are interrelated and because of this uh, like the calls are getting down nowadays and if you see the um, economy so everything is interrelated and because of economy also so previously in covid there was a gold rush and every like startup so what happens that if startup pays you let's say 10x then the like uh, mid organizations will have to pay you like they will try to match it obviously they can't match it but they will like give you 5x or 4x okay x can be anything so the thing is that now like uh, in the recent news we have seen how byju's and the edtech startups have uh, fired all their employees now those employees will also go into these open positions which are already going down day by day okay so this is the reason that um, like it's not only for qa but even for dev and everyone the like the open jobs are going down that's the reality and you can yourself see that the amount of calls uh, which you are getting in 2021 so nowadays like it's not that okay uh, now we are talking in november 2022 so what you can do right now okay this is the problem statement we have a problem statement now what's the solution for it so the first uh, solution is that you have to keep uh, like upgrading yourself okay the thing is that uh, and one more thing which i would like to discuss here that the problem this problem is mostly at the mainly mostly mostly at the extremes by extreme means either this problem is for freshers or for 10 plus year of experience guy okay still uh, there is a scope um, for 2 to 8 experience guy okay so the thing is that if you are in the extreme if you are a fresher or possibly less than 2 years of experience then maybe if you are in manual try to learn automation okay if you have learned automation then maybe possibly you have learned it with java then try to learn it with python okay just make a framework and test plus if you both if you know both of these things then try to at least develop a framework in c sharp that is like uh, easy and within uh, like one week or 10 days you can easily like the concepts are same it's just that the syntax difference and the basic stuff okay now if you if you feel that no uh, like i am good with automation plus java i want something else something else then you can look into the non functional part uh, nowadays like security testing okay there is a scope plus try to learn performance testing because these are the things uh, which is going to like 
uh, have weight in your resume okay if you write down that okay basic i know basic of uh, automation then like it is not going to work okay for if you are if you have more than 2 years of experience the thing you have to do is that uh, like keep upgrading yourself make a target or possibly like if you if you are at this level and uh, you have 5 let us okay so for 0 to 2 your path should be that if you know manual try to go for automation and this will work till 3 years of experience if you are if you have 3 years of experience and you know basic like automation java plus selenium then you are in you are in the at the right path okay now for 3 to possibly 6 or 5 years of experience if you know automation okay then try to learn non functional okay in this either security or performance testing i hope it is visible yeah or uh, try to learn rpa this is all together a different thing in itself okay maybe you can learn salesforce or you can learn cloud see there are endless possibilities sorry for that so i have made a dedicated playlist on how as a qa you can learn cloud and the thing is that um, if you look at the basic certifications of cloud that is aws cloud practitioner 1 okay or azure fundamental 1 that yeah, is visible so both the certification you can easily do in one month okay so right now it is november 2022 and let's hope that the market will open in march or let's say april 23 see the thing is that uh, you have to worry about those things which are in your hand if the things like the market is not in your hand then what's in your hand like your skill your uh, like on whatever thing you are spending your time that's the thing which is in our hand okay so we have to improve we have to improve this skill set if you will take care of this then obviously like uh, this part the job part will be automatically taken care of i am not like uh, giving some kind of gyan but this is the reality that if you don't upskill then like it doesn't matter that whether it is november 22 or april 23 okay and by like i uh, let's hope that by june july or possibly august 23 um, things will normal out and by the time we will have a lot more jobs than it is in the market right now and the problem the one more problem is that uh, like us economy is down so that's why like uh, it is uh, the, there is a saying that when the us uh, us sneezes the world catches cold okay and that is the reality that if uh, us is not pumping money then how the organization is going to sustain like we we will agree that 80% of the indian firms they provide service and uh, somehow we are dependent on others okay so let's not uh, get uh, deep into that but uh, you see how all the things are interrelated but this is the thing which you have to focus on and uh, even if you are looking for rpa then just try to uh, like complete a certification and uh, learn it by heart and be master in it okay before uh, jumping uh, into anything else okay now one more tip is that uh, like don't try to uh, like switch job right now possibly in next 4 month or 6 months okay and the role which you are currently in try to understand um, like it end to end and try to create a dependency it's very easy to say but i can understand that it's very tough to actually um, understand things end to end but still uh, like if you have like if you have a dependency then uh, you don't have to worry about that okay you are going to get fired and everything because like the your organization will think twice before firing you okay now the secret uh, tip is that uh, like just uh, like be consistent okay i often spoke this thing this thing that uh, rather than studying 8 hours on weekend okay try to put 2 hours daily okay so this guy will beat the guy who is putting like who is studying only on weekends even if you don't get time like maybe you are spending 10 hours in your job okay and uh, by commuting you are spending almost 12 hours in 
uh, like uh, going to office and coming back to home and after this also let's say eight hours of sleep okay 20 hours and let's say you still have like all the daily course and everything 22 hours still you have two hours left okay i'm trying uh, like i am pushing that you should utilize these two hours in upskilling yourself just uh, like pick up anything okay and this is the thing like i have i haven't completed uh, after what after seven years of experience so like this thing if you if you will try to learn each and everything then it will like if you know each and every one of them then you are good till 10 years of experience okay and after that like it's totally ma like either you can go to uh, go to the architect level or like it's a different story altogether after this okay let's not worry about this but at least uh, like i hope most of my like audience is below 10 years of experience then just keep on upgrading yourself then you don't have to worry about any recession and whenever the right time will come then you are going then you are like fully prepared and good to fly so i hope uh, this thing ends soon and we all like just keep on upgrading ourselves so that that's the most important and be consistent okay so that's it guys thanks